I'm Ashley from Girls Who Code, here with step one of part two in the Never Reviews to Reuse game. Now that we have our starter code opened, let's add some code to our project that will bring the recycling can to life. In this step, we'll program the arrow keys to move the recycling can around the screen. You can code along with the video or watch it first, then add your code using the to-do list under the video. Adjusting the mechanics of a game can greatly impact the feel of the game. Some of the main mechanics used for games in Scratch are clicking the mouse, following the mouse, and using arrow keys. In this activity, both sprites move around the screen. The recycling can moves horizontally, and the milk carton falls vertically. We can't actually make motion, but we can simulate motion by changing the position of an object over time. As a reminder, we tell our program the position of a point, object, or sprite using a coordinate pair. If you need a refresher on motion and coordinates, check out the wizard's wish game in this activity set. We'll start with the recycling can sprite, so make sure you click on it before you start writing any code. First, let's click on the events tab. Grab the block when space key pressed. Place this block onto our code editor. Click the drop down menu and select right arrow. Now, whenever we press the right arrow key on our keyboard, what do we want to happen? We want our recycling can to move to the right. To move our recycling can to the right, we will adjust the X value of our sprite, since the X value affects the horizontal movement. Go to the Motion tab and grab the block, change X by 10. Let's keep the numeric value positive, since positive X values move the sprite to the right. Attach this block to the block when right arrow key pressed. Now, each time we press the right arrow key, the X value of the recycling can changes by 10 pixels. Great work. We have simulated our sprite moving to the right. Now, let's program our recycling can to move to the left. Go back to the events tab and grab a when space key press block. Place this block on the code editor. Click the drop down menu and select left arrow. Go to the motion tab and grab a change X by 10 block. Attach this block to the one left arrow key pressed block. When we change our X value by a positive value, the sprite moves to the right. How could we adjust this block to have the sprite move to the left? Let's change the positive 10 to a negative 10. Press the green flag on the top of the stage to run your program. Press the left and right arrow keys and your recycling can should move to the left and right. Now, in order to improve the playability of our game, we want our recycling can to move faster as we press the left and right arrow keys. Any ideas on how we could make this happen? Try adjusting the values of 10 and negative 10 to 5 and negative 5. Did that work? What if we change the values to 20 and negative 20? Which numeric values do you feel will make it easier to catch the milk carton? We will set the change X values to 20 and negative 20 because this will increase the speed of our recycling can and make our game easier to play. If you would like to use different values, go for it. Just keep in mind that your program will look different than ours in future steps. Pause the video and try out your program by pressing the right and left arrow keys. Your recycling can should move left when you press the left arrow key and move right when you press the right arrow key. That's it for step one. For a recap of the tasks covered in the video, check out the to-do list below. We've also included debugging tips in the documentation in case you get stuck. In the next part, we'll learn how to make the melt carton fall. <laughs>